Hey guys, today, well, it's actually late in the evening. It's actually almost eight o'clock um, at night. I'm gonna be continuing to do a little bit more in my bedroom because as I told you yesterday, I had a doctor's appointment today. I had to go to dermatologist because there was a spot on my hand and on my leg that I didn't know what it was. So my regular general practitioner, he didn't know what it was. So he wanted to send me to somebody who um, knew more because there's a history of skin cancer in my family. So I went today and had that checked and it turned out to be seboriac keratosis, which is a benign tumor. Um, and she said, usually as you age, if you're gonna get them, that's when you're gonna get them, like whenever you get older, um, I guess late 40s up or something, I don't know. Or I was in my mid 40s whenever the first one showed up and I had shown my doctor, but he didn't think it was skin cancer, but then the other one popped up on my hand, so it was like, okay which I'm 47 now. But anyways, um, she gave me an option of just leaving it there or I could um, have them frozen. And because they itch all the time, which is one of the symptoms, one of the things they do, because they itch all the time and because the one on my leg, when I wear certain clothes, it like, it irritates that spot. I wore my hair down today too, but anyway that's neither here nor there um i decided to go ahead and let her freeze them off while i was in the office she said she could do it right then it would just take a minute to get both of them done oh great i just let go um a minute to get both of them done or less than a minute to get both of them done and then i'd be on my way so i said okay that's fine let's go ahead and do it because they do itch they do bug me and she said that these shouldn't come back, but they could. And also, since I have had one, I could end up with more later on in life. Um, and from where I read online, they're also, they could be genetic. I don't know of anybody in my family that's ever had them, but, but you know, I could be the first. <laughs> but anyways, she did it. And the one here on my hand, it's right there i don't want to touch it because it hurts um i did not have she told me to get some polysporin and band-aids and cover them up as soon as i could um because they don't want to use neosporin on them they want you to use polysporin oh, i thought noah might have needed something he's letting the dog out do you need something noah no okay um anyway so noah and i went straight to walmart and grabbed that um, and I went ahead and got some more band-aids for me that um, I'm really sensitive to certain like sticky things like certain medical tapes and band-aids and stuff and there, there's one kind that I can use for sensitive skin that works really well I don't have problems with unless I wear it just all the time like for a couple weeks but anyway I got the polysporin because I knew we didn't have any at home. She told me to put it on like tonight, but while we were riding down the road, I bumped my hand and this one, they had, okay, they will blister after they freeze them. And this one, I bumped it. I don't even know how, I was trying to be careful, but I bumped it when I was talking to Noah and it hurt when it burst. It burst that little bubble, but then the bubble came right back. So, um, anyway, I went ahead and put it on both places so that no germies and anything. I cleaned them and with soap and water because that's what you're supposed to use and covered them. So, there's that one. I'm not going to show you the one on my leg because it's my upper thigh and we ain't seeing that. So, <laughs> a doctor can see it, but not everybody else. So, anyway, as I said, I think I said this in yesterday's video. This video may not be very long. Um but I did want to tell you about that. Now, she said that to watch for signs of infection and things like that, but they're, they're benign. They're, they're like just a, a, something that happens to some people. It's just a skin condition. And I already have eczema, so skin conditions are, I'm, I'm not like, 
unaware of them i don't know the right word to use but anyway i know they can happen i know that i have one and this is not a big deal if i have more i know what to do but they do itch like they itch like crazy and sometimes they would get flaky I know this is all gross but if you ever have something like that you might want to go get checked they can be like a light pink your same skin color or um what are you doing going under my bed Allie just went under the bed they can be the same color they can be brown they can just be different colors um but not like what skin cancer looks like I guess well, I don't really know if they're what skin cancer looks like because my doctor didn't know if it was skin cancer or not. So maybe it is. I've never actually seen skin cancer like in person that I actually looked at because when my daddy had skin cancer, I was a child and I didn't pay attention and he didn't be like, he, he wasn't like, well, look at that, you know, he wasn't showing me the things, but I've never examined skin cancer. So I really don't know what it's supposed to look like or what it does look like. But either way, these were benign, no problems at all. And I'm gonna be fine. I'm just gonna make sure that I keep it clean and the medicine on it and um, watch for signs of infection. And uh, I could have left them, like I said, I could have left them, but because of like this one's on the side of my hand i was always hitting it i was always irritating it and the same but one on my leg it's like certain clothes irritating so yeah they had to go <laughs> i wanted them to go anyway but while we were at walmart i got this little bin to put right here i think it's where i'm gonna have it then again will it fit there no but I was thinking this little bin could go there and I could put some things in it there uh, so it wouldn't fall out, but it could be taller things. I'm not sure what yet. Let me move the camera. But I thought I would just do like chat with you guys and also, hold on, let me get this scooted up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing kind of. I thought I would go ahead and put my hats and stuff in here now jeff already took his hats out i was like wait a minute something's not right jeff already took his hats out well hello she went under bed and now she's over here she's hanging out with me but anyways i thought that this would be a good place to put them because i do have a lot but that's okay i think i'm gonna put them kind of the same kinds like camouflage together and stuff like that maybe I don't know what you think about that Noah hmm? what you think about that about looks fine that will be too much though I was gonna put all the camouflage look This is what I'm showing him. <laughs> Allie came over there. She was under the bed. But, so you think this, did you need something? Use the pancake and the lemon foil. Yes. Uh, it looks fine. I just didn't know for sure if this was a good idea. I think it might be. I think it's a good solution. Um, and I can always change it later. But I think that it's a good place to put the things. Put that one there. I just don't know how many are going to fit in each spot because I just don't know. And I just have these two left. Will they both fit there? Okay, and then I have like these little hats, like my little um, winter hats and stuff. So I'm just gonna fold these and just stick them in there so I can see them, but they can be 
contained. I don't wear hats. I like hats, but I don't think I look good in hats, but I want hats. Is that weird? Yes, I know, it's weird. Um, I wear them some, but not a ton. That one's the same kind as that. Now this one is one, this is one I've worn a lot. It hooks to your phone or like a um, MP3 player or something. I know. People don't know what those are anymore. But it hooks to that. And this is the Christmas hat. I don't think it's going to fit in there. And I probably should put it in Christmas stuff. But I think I'm just going to stick it beside these hats. Then this one is my daddy's hat. It's definitely not going in there um, anywhere at all. I'm going to find somewhere safe to put that so it's going back in the bin. Um, I don't want anything to happen to it. I know it's the only thing in this ginormous bin, but that's all right for now. It's not like it's going to be in there forever. So I'm trying to decide what else I can use this for. Now I don't have any more hats, so these three spots I can maybe figure out something else for. Um, I don't know what yet. I might. I was going to put all my camouflage pants up there, but I have to still go through the ones in the closet. I might go ahead and do more of my closet, but I, today was a lot. It was hot and rainy and a little stressful because, you know, I didn't know what she was going to tell me, and I really didn't want skin cancer, even though I, I have family members that have gone through it and they know you know they were fine um but you know things some things just stress you out which it, did i say we went to walmart we got that and we got noah um a grease gun and i bought oh i bought a box to put our bread in like one that seals because we have been having a, having a problem with ants here. And so the ants got into our hamburger buns, so we had to throw them out, which was not a happy day. Cause it was like, I think eight buns left of one of the big Sam's packs. And we were supposed to be having those this week. So I don't know. I do have other types of hats that I just thought about. They're like the type that or more like the one I showed you my daddy. Well, more like cowboy hat or whatever like that. So I gotta figure out where I'm putting those. But I don't think I have any more caps. But like there's some of these I've worn like quite a bit like over the times. But some of them, like this one, I can't wear it in the summer. It's too hot. And so I only wear it in the winter. There's certain ones. Like, I get hot with a hat on, but then this one is fine during the summer. And this one is too because of what it's made out of. I don't know what it's made out of exactly. Uh, yeah, I think it's cotton. It's got a little pocket on it. Put your Aldi, Aldi quarter in there. Your Aldi quarter in there. I can't speak English. We don't have an Aldi anymore, which is kind of sad. Um, whenever we were living where we lived I would um in the beginning when I first found out about Aldi we would drive an hour to go there and I kept sending emails and saying get one here get one here and then we ended up with four extremely close to us two in the same town we lived city we lived in and one in another town or city actually and then another one in a little town um but now we don't have one so I'd have to drive an hour to get to one again I don't know if I'm going to do that but we would go like every once in a while and we would do a super stock up but I really don't think there's anything else I'm, I'm going to be I really just want to shower and 
edit videos and not have to do anything else tonight. I know that, oh, we, whenever we went by the house, we got my vanity and some more things. But I just really don't want to do anything else tonight, y'all. I'm tired from the driving, riding, whatever. And I guess the thinking about this and then the relief of it not being skin cancer. It was like kind of draining today. Maybe it was the weather. But anyway, I think I'm going to go. I don't think I'm going to do any more today. <laughs> so I have been washing clothes too. But yeah, I'm going to go for now. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow's, I know tomorrow's video will be longer. So hope this is all right. I'll see you then. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you don't mind, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing because I really do want to know. And if you have a prayer request, you can leave that down below as well. And thank you guys for praying for all the ones on the community tab that I've been adding lately and praying for us. And remember that we're praying for you. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.